Alrighty, in this three minute formulas episode, we are going to be creating a responsive search system where we can write in some text and then verify via formula if it exists or not within those entries. We're going to be using the contains formula as well as the filter and ifs formula to get started. Oftentimes when we have a lot of entries that are relationally connected to each other, it may be a little trickier to identify whether certain pieces of text are being contained within the relation. And so obviously we have the search bar here, but if you are dealing with a lot of text, for example, or a lot of different entries within the same property, this responsive search system might be helpful for you. Basically, we're going to make it so that if we want to identify a search text, we can type it into the text property that we've created here. Notice how there's three relationally connected database entries to this one, and we are going to add the search text here, and we are going to be searching within the text field here. So I'm just going to add some arbitrary text there. And because it is case sensitive, we want to be hyper aware of how we search this text when we do create this formula. And so again, because this is a three minute formulas episode, I just want to create a sort of way to know if something is inside these database entries. And so to create or maximize the different outcomes or outputs we want to configure, we're going to use the ifs function. And this is a newer feature of Notion Formulas 2.0 but I do think it provides a lot of versatility and flexibility in case you do want to output different things and manipulate multiple variables at once. We're going to filter based on whether something is contained or not. If these related database entries contains the text that we've specified in this database property, we want it to output yes or not found. In this case, we want to refer the relation entries that'll pop up we get that gray box we're going to filter and we're going to specify whether the text property here contains the text that we've specified in this entry we're going to be using the contain function again and as you can see it's nicely tells us we want to search the value and then we want to specify what we're searching for in this case we are we are using the value from text within this database entry because we're going to be using the current text current dot text for that note notation that is the value that we are searching for and then we are going to be searching within the text property right now they're both titled the same which is titled this description so that it looks a little different within the entries filter and we want to see if it contains within the description the text that we specified here, right? So I just relabeled it so that it's helpful to understand where everything goes. But now we can say if text that we specify here is in description here, then do this. That's essentially what we're creating here because we're saying if the filter within this entries relationship contains the description, we want it to do something. And so now that we've sort of created that criteria, we got to spit out some outputs. Maybe found is what we want it to output if it does contain it. And then if it's not found, we say not found. We can close that out. We can click done and notice how it says found. It's because search is here and search is there. Change that. If I do find, it's found. But notice how if I do lowercase find, it is not. What I just did here was create a responsive search system based on text that we can specify within this property. And it's case sensitive. If it's blank, it says it's still found. So that's where maybe we say, if not empty text. And now when there's no text, it'll just say not found because we haven't specified anything. In previous examples, because we didn't specify this, if it's not empty, then it would automatically go to found. So now if we do this, it's found. Obviously when we have nothing in there, it's fine if it says not found. I think this is a really easy way to tell if you need to look for something and you need to sort of constrain yourself within the relations or the related database entries. And so that if there's many things with that same keyword and searching through this isn't as effective, we can create this responsive search system to see if a keyword that we specify exists. And obviously this might not seem as valuable on the surface, but I think if you're diving into keywords, meta descriptions, SEO aspects where language and verbiage is really important, I can really see the value in something like this within your system so that if you need to scatter the same keyword across several social media posts, for example, you can verify that each keyword is included. That's just like a more deeper way to think about using this. Hope you got something out of this and like and subscribe and thanks for watching.